dear customizators, welcome to Electric Solar Bolt, episode 4! In the last episode, we painted the boat. Mmm, shiny. And we finished restoring the main structure. In this episode, I bang with a hammer, I bang some more, then I bang with my hands, then I burn stuff, then I celebrate, and then I make weird faces. Let's customize. We will begin this episode with me mounting some stuff on the boat. This is the propeller shaft casing. I made this part to be pressed in to be able to mount new shaft seal from the outside. The heated part will expand to be able to fit and when it cools down both parts will become as one. What? Yeah, I told you so. some parts to sandblast. I'm using Keher K7 full control pressure washer with a sandblasting nozzle add-on. And these are today's victims. This is the result. And now the battery build. I'm using three original battery modules casings, but I'm merging them into one battery pack using glass fiber and epoxy resin. Whoops, there's a fail.
I 3D printed these parts for battery cells cover and I'm using seal to glue them permanently. This is the battery pack almost done. This is the wiring coming from the cells into the BMS, the battery management system, some custom aluminum coolers, master kill switch, BMS enable switch. I also put some car fuses for 12, 24 and 48 volt outputs. We have the main connector for the motor power and the connector for the rest of the boat systems. Power for 12, 24, 48 volts and data connection for the infotainment display. And now for the final battery cover. I made another huge print. It's made of one two, three, four, five 3D printed parts. Last part to mount to the battery is MPPT solar charge controller. I will explain more about electrical systems in the coming episodes.